Hi, it's Tuesday, and I'm still unwell. I'm better. I still it's all sorts of snot and affecting my memory. I forgot to put soda in the fridge, so I had to go to the vending machine, which is okay, because it's a quarter, which is about what I pay for soda anyway. Mmm. And I needed that. It was asked if I'd ever go to store brand because I'm so cheap. And because I get soda for about a quarter a can, or 50 cents for a double 24-ounce bottle, no. This is, uh, I'm cheap, but I also appreciate the store brandedness. And let's face it, it's hard to imitate Dr. Pepper, even by making a diet version. Mm. I could have drank this before I started recording. Then I could spend more time talking to you. But then you wouldn't get to see me drink Diet Dr. Pepper. But as far as affecting my memory, you can tell I have a naked lapel. Another problem. I had a flag pin ready to go, and it's still sitting there on the on the uh, that thing I left it on at home. And I've forgotten what that thing I left it at home home is called too. So that's another memory thing. I also forgot yogurt, which is the second day in a row. I have like a week's worth of yogurt at home, and I keep meaning you know to bring yogurt so I can eat yogurt. Problem is I end up skipping breakfast, and then I skip breakfast, and then I skip lunch. And then I have 3,000 calories for dinner and immediately go to sleep. And it's a wonder I'm not more fat than I am. No calories uh, here, though. Still not supposed to drink fizzy carbonated drinks if you're worried about that. I'm only worried about it enough to pay lip service to it. I'm not worried about it enough to do anything, such as get off my fat ass and exercise. But you knew all this already. So I did a little redesigning. As you saw from yesterday's video, I decided it was time to take down the World Championship towel and the World Championship uh, extra front page from the Green Bay Gazette. And I didn't realize it, but those, th those suckers took up a lot of space. I got a lot of blank wall back here now, and I don't know if it just means should, I should move stuff around. I, I don't have a lot more to put on there. There's my Kylie calendar from what, three, four years ago. And there's a poster from Sands. There's my Internex license plate frame from 1997. Whoa! What's going on? Are we on a cruise ship? Then I did a little re rearranging back here. I need to do a little more rearranging. Maybe I'll move the magnets around. I don't know. Or maybe I'll find something new to stick up there. I'm sure that keeping track of what's on the file cabinet is yet another exciting aspect of tuning in every day to watch uh, this project, which hasn't really coalesced into much of anything yet. I do thank you for watching, though, and for continuing to subscribe. I got another subscriber. Mike, hello. Thank you. I don't know how many subscribers I'm up to. That's got to be a couple dozen. Which reminds me, someone left a comment yesterday, and I forgot to look it up. So I'm going to pull it up now, and we can all be surprised together. Ah, it's from Cerebus. Were you crying? It sounds like it. No, I was sniffling because I had the cold, and I still have the cold. And I could entertain you with some really thick snot, but I'm not going to. I'll spare you the Kleenex sculpture I've been building all day, the sculpture of used Kleenexes. It's really beautiful. But I guess that's good that it's still going. I mean, if my nose were all stuffed up and nothing was coming out, that would probably be a problem. But the fact that things are still happening, I'm still coughing, but I'm coughing less. I'm not coughing up stuff. It doesn't hurt. It's just kind of nagging and annoying. That happens every year, pretty much. Years where I don't get shingles, I should say. Last year I didn't get a cold, but I got shingles and that pretty much made life miserable for six weeks. Fortunately, I caught it in time. Did I ever tell you about when I had shingles? I did on VU. You can go over to VU and learn all about shingles if you want. Alright, that's five minutes. That's enough, right? 
Did you ask me anything I have to take care of today? No. Some of you like the King's jersey. Uh, thank you for that. I don't know why I wore it, but it was the Timberwolves-Kings game. And I just felt, eh, I'll wear the Kings jersey and I'll root for the Timberwolves. And that turned out pretty good. They really should have put them away sooner than they did. But they ended up winning, so it was all cool. That Kings jersey, though, is pretty old. I think it was probably a clearance special because they were changing the design. And that may be one or two designs back. It's been so long since I followed the Kings on a day-to-day -day basis. And really, there aren't any left that I root for. Francisco Garcia is still on the team. John Savins is back on the team. John Salmon's back on the team. But he left and came back, so he kind of doesn't count. But other than those two guys. And Garcia is one of the guys they think might be a good fit on the Wolves if they make a trade because they really need a wing, they say. Although now that all the injured guys are coming back to practice, it should get even more interesting. By which I mean Martel Webster and J.J. Barea and Brad Miller, the oldest man in the league. Not quite, but feels like it. Another former king. So really just, you know, amass the kings and see the W's pile up, right? But a win's a win. We had a win yesterday. Hopefully we'll have a win tomorrow when we play the Pistons. And that's it. I don't trail off as much when I'm Weller, too. Weller. So, the last thing you should do when you're sick, of course, is put off sleeping. And I stayed up until 3.30 watching Raw. And, boy, totally worth it. Um, anyway, now we're coming up on seven minutes, so I'm going to say thank you for watching again. I'll be back tomorrow. I will hopefully not have a naked lapel. And... Hopefully, my lips and what you're hearing are pretty much in sync, although who knows. Bye.